The ABC bought into the Ruby Princess coronavirus outbreak in a big way last month. Tonight, 7.30 can reveal an astonishing new twist. A Border Force officer made a critical mistake, confusing tests for the common flu with tests for COVID-19, and the error wasn't picked up until the next day. But tonight, 7.30 can reveal how Border Force was also racked by confusion and miscommunication in its own ranks. The genesis of its mistakes could even be traced back to one single poorly designed form sent from ship to shore that morning in March. The smoking gun that it was the Australian Border Force that made the final decision for passengers to disembark the Ruby Princess. So they all tested negative and now some are positive, she inquired. The inspector responded there was confusion in the test results. Confusion? How so? It says negative. Negative to the flu. But when the Special Commission delivers its findings in a fortnight's time, Border Force will undoubtedly have to answer for its blunders. Big claims, but the Special Commission found the opposite, as the ABC's own Media Watch was obliged to report. Importantly, the inquiry also dismisses the charge that the Australian Border Force was culpable, saying the ABF... Do not bear any responsibility for the Ruby Princess mishap. The inquiry's commissioner, Brett Walker SC, then goes on to take aim at one member of the media. As this report was being finished, some interesting journalism was published that advanced the notion that a basic misreading by an ABF officer of negative influenza results as meaning negative COVID-19 results had somehow contributed to the decision to let the passengers go as they did on the 19th of March. As the body of the report spells out, that is not correct. But even when it was that clear-cut, the ABC officially refused to apologise. We stand by the integrity of the reporting and encourage people to read and watch the key reports. Well, maybe so, but in the end, the incompetence of the Border Force was not a key factor and the ABC's suggestion was wrong. OK, the ABC was wrong, and every now and then, when there's a clear-cut case, Media Watch points out ABC errors. How could it not? But it ignored the big picture. Paul Barry, who obsesses over News Corp conspiracy theories, ignored the ABC's ideological obsession here. There was no focus on how 7.30's Andrew Probrin appeared to work hand-in-glove with Labor's Christina Keneally to wrongly discredit Border Force. Nor did Barry point out the ABC's long history of false allegations on border security. False allegations of rape and sexual abuse on Nauru, false claims our Navy tortured asylum seekers, false assertions Australia could never turn boats back, and now false claims on the Ruby Princess. Barry and Media Watch are incurious about the ideological and erroneous campaigns run by the ABC. Let's bring in the panel now. Justin Smith, writer and broadcaster from Melbourne, and Rebecca Weiser, columnist for The Spectator Australia. Rebecca, what is it with the ABC and border security? They just don't like it, do they? Well, I think that's absolutely right. There's a sort of a... a, a it's the, the mindset. Given that this is the case, I actually gave Paul Barry points for pointing it out. You know, I, I, it wouldn't have surprised me if they had simply glossed over the fact that the report had singled out the ABC, but that was about as far as he was prepared to go. I'll go to Justin. Uh, Justin, I mean, of course they've got to point it out. The Special Commission made it very clear it actually targeted the erroneous journalism, so the ABC would have been absolutely torn apart if they didn't report it. But why no curiosity? Why don't they examine this fact? that they just seem obsessed with getting border security and, uh, and embarrassing Australia over border security, yet time and again, in those cases I mentioned, they've got it wrong, and wrong in a way that is really damaging to Australia and Australia's intentions. I'd absolutely agree with you on the damaging bit. I think this was an absolute shocker because they really needed to get this one right. I mean, we've got to... With the way that coronavirus is at the moment, we've got to be trusting... 
uh, what we're being told, not just by the media, but by politicians and by agencies. And when you undermine border security like that, I mean, I think, look, for me, the giveaway, and for everybody watching this, if you ever hear, particularly a politician, talking about a smoking gun, uh, you can almost guarantee that it is a load of absolute twaddle that they are about to serve up to you. And indeed, Christina Keneally did just that. And that's incredibly disappointing because she's got an important role as well in opposition. She And the ABC had a big role here. 7.30 report had a big role. And it's, it's really sad they blew it because so many people have died on the Ruby Princess. It's important. And, I mean, I think you're not doing it service to the families of those people when you get it this wrong. There should have been a lot more caution in this report before they put it out.